up proposal. No, I am uh, very pleased that. Uh, sorry, we'll have to wait for this. Yeah. No, I'm very pleased uh, that uh, uh, this uh, draft has been put up for public consultation. Uh, indeed, uh, the changes that we are proposing uh, are quite uh, uh, important and significant for our business community. Uh, we have, of course, said all along since, in fact, the budget uh, that we intend to proceed uh, in this manner, that we will be putting a roadmap uh, uh, in front of uh, the public so that they can comment. Uh, and obviously, we will take all of that into account as we establish the roadmap. Mm. Uh, so uh, hopefully, uh, everybody uh, will, will study it closely and provide us good feedback on mm. it. So, but in terms of the rates, like, uh, though, of course, a bit early to ask that question right now, fairly so. But, like, how do we, I mean, what, what is the game? plan as of now that you even reduce by 1% and balance it out by similar amount of reduction in the exemption so that the fisc remains the same, neutral? See, we are going to work through that uh, as we make decisions on the various exemptions. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing, of course, mm -hmm. is that uh, we want to make sure that it is uh, revenue neutral mm -hmm. uh, and that our fiscal deficit targets uh, are not touched. Uh, so we absolutely have to take that into account. That is going to be our uh, uh, objective function uh, and as we think through the roadmap. So do you, you think that... Deficit, yeah. What impact do you think the recommendations of the 7th Pay Commission is going to have on the government? This yes, in the, in the budget we had laid out uh, a fiscal roadmap, which as you know was 3.9% fiscal deficit this year, 3.5% the following year. <laughs> So that's Jayan Sinha talking about the draft proposal put forward by the CBDT.